This is behind the counter at a local Japanese udon shop. Okay, so I'm super excited for this one. I'm taking you to a super local udon shop that makes everything by hand. But like always, before I start, if you want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Tokyo and Japan merch. And if you have any questions about Japan or your Japan travels, check out my Discord community. All right, let's go talk to Iwai san. Here we go. I'm taking you behind the counter at another family owned Japanese restaurant to bring you the real life story of how handcrafted udon is made. This time we're at Sanuki Udon Iwai, a local favorite at Jujo Station in Tokyo. It's just a five minute walk from the station to the Jujo Ginza Shotengai. Good morning. So, this is Iwai san, 40 years old, born and raised in Guma, now living in Tokyo, and the owner of this udon shop. Are you always alone in the morning? Oh, he's turning on the radio. I guess that's part of his morning routine. First thing he preps in the morning is a dashi for the soup. Udon noodles are one of Japan's most traditional foods, as well as one of its most simple. Just soup and udon noodles. Well, you can add toppings, but many Japanese still enjoy it just with those two ingredients. So it's critical to craft a perfect dashi in order to craft a perfect bowl of udon. Now he prepares the change for the register. So how long has the store been open for? And why did you decide to start a new udon shop? Udon? I like it. I like it. I like it. And that's the oil for the tempura. The shop uses Daizu Shirashi Meiyu, a light colored soybean oil. Hey, I noticed you've got some kids' bikes. You must be busy. <laughs> oh, he really lives in the same building. <laughs> Thank you. So nice. As the dashi continuously cooks, he starts the noodle prep. Apparently, this dough was made the day before as it needs to mature overnight. And then it must be kneaded before it's cut into noodle form. His shop uses a traditional Japanese method of kneading with your feet, which creates their udon signature elastic and chewy texture, called koshi. Many udon shops these days have moved to using machines for the kneading, but Iwaisen prefers to carry on the method he learned from his master in Kagawa. Pizza. No cap, they do look like pizza. Now he prepares a new batch of dough for tomorrow. The shop uses a specific flour for its udon noodles, ASW, which is shipped from Kagawa Prefecture. And how much flour do you use a day? Oh, it's time to pour out the dashi. So he quickly moves to the stove area while in the middle of making the udon noodles. Multiple items must be prepared in the morning before the customers arrive, so he must work efficiently in order to get everything done on time, while also being firm to not sacrifice the quality of his food in the process. For example, he must repeat the dashi cooking process numerous times until the large pot is full. Why do you make your dashi this way? <laughs> Now he mixes the salted water into the flour. In fact, udon noodles are made up of a few simple ingredients, flour, water, and salt. Which is why it's even more critical that the shop selects an appropriate flour and mixture ratio. Do you have a hobby? Interestingly, depending on the day's temperature, humidity, weather, as well as other factors, it all affects the final taste and texture of the udon noodles. Do you always do this on your own? Oh, they can do it already? Oh, 
Oh, that's a family from the neighborhood who he buys rice from. I guess running a business in the local area for 10 years has allowed him to develop many strong relationships with people. Oh, that's the shop manager for his second shop. Oh, can you speak German? <laughs> How long have you been working here? So you've mastered everything. <laughs> before she opens up her store, she stops here to pick up some important <laughs> ingredients. Have you spilled anything before? <laughs> <laughs> What's in it anyways? <laughs> Good luck! Oh, here's the first worker at the shop! <laughs> While she gets ready for her shift, Iwaisen continues to work on the dough. Now he cuts a newly made dough, weighs it, and then stores it away for tomorrow. One block of dough weighs about 2 kilograms, about 4.4 pounds, which makes about 10 bowls. Finally, he hand kneads the dough that he kneaded with his feet earlier this morning. Iwaisan learned his udon crafting skills under the master at Miyatake Udon in Kagawa Prefecture. He studied for about half a year and then returned to Tokyo to open up his own shop. Kagawa Prefecture is known as the Udon Prefecture in Japan as it's ranked first nationwide for udon noodle production and consumption with over 600 udon noodle shops which easily outnumbers their total number of convenience stores. And Iwaisan crafts their famous style Sanuki Udon noodles at his local Tokyo shop. Once the dough is completely flattened, he folds it into layers so it can be cut into noodle form. Let me just pause for a moment here so we can enjoy the beauty of his skilled knife work. After many years of honing his skills and mastering the art of udon crafting, Iwaisan was able to, along the way, teach several apprentices and develop a strong customer base in love with his noodles. But of course, this didn't happen overnight. He started his udon career when he was only 24 years old, working part-time at one of the most popular udon chains in Japan, Hanamaru Udon. This is where he discovered his passion for udon, which eventually motivated him to seek out his udon master in Kagawa Prefecture at Miyatake Udon. He says that when he was first learning to craft udon in Kagawa, every day was an eye-opening experience. But at the same time, it was a true test of his will and fortitude. Hey, so before I continue on, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor for this video, Squarespace. If you all don't already know, Squarespace is the number one way to build your online presence. In fact, I use Squarespace for my website, Tokyo Zebra. Here are just some of the reasons why I love using Squarespace so much. Whether you're starting your passion project or building a business, Squarespace has all the tools to get it done while also looking ultra sleek and professional at the same time. They support numerous portfolios and gallery designs which you can customize and even password protect so the right people see your work. Use its fully integrated blogging tools and comments commenting features such as threaded comments, replies, and likes to help engage your community. And my personal favorite, built-in analytics to see how your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time. So there you go, go to squarespace.com today for your free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Paolo from Tokyo and get 10% off your first domain or website. Oh, another worker has arrived. He's one of the apprentices who's planning to open up his own udon shop after studying here. Damn, he's got to move a lot of stuff out of the shop to get it ready. What do you do in the morning? Have you been working here for a long time? Wow! Oh, that's a sauce for the tendon! Tempura rice bowl! <laughs> What's that? Now the apprentice makes a sauce which is added into the soup. He mixes the perfect ratio of Japanese sake, soy sauce, and mirin. How old are you? You look younger. <laughs> He's writing down the shopping list. So what are you buying today?
While the staff prepares for the opening, he needs to run to the supermarket to pick up some additional ingredients. He prefers to go grocery shopping every day in order to serve the freshest ingredients to his customers. He says though that the price of things like vegetables, flour, meat, oil in Japan have been rising since the end of last year, which forced him to make the hard decision to raise the price of his udon by 50 yen, about 39 cents, in order to keep his business going. He also said that he deeply cares about his customers and their eating experience, which includes providing his udon at an affordable price, so the decision weighed on him quite a bit. <laughs> So his apprentice packs tempura takeout sets to sell in front of the store. Since he's located on the main shopping street, and the area itself is uniquely known to have many sozai shops, meaning shops that offer everyday Japanese side dishes for takeout so families can add it to their dinner table, he also offers tempura takeout. Kinda makes me want to live in this neighborhood. Wow, the store isn't open yet, but there's already customers buying their tempura takeouts. I guess the regulars know when to buy their freshly fried tempura. So where are you opening up your store? Oh, what's the name? When are you opening? And how long have you been working here? So what did you learn from here the most? <laughs> She's seasoning the chicken for the tempura. I can already taste that juicy fried chicken hitter. Finally, the dashi is finished. I guess that's what a pot full of love looks like. So what's your hobby? You have a daughter? You hang out with her? Oh, that's cool. Where does your daughter live? Is that your hometown? Oh, really? <laughs> awesome. I guess every family has their story. Wow, that's a ginormous gesso! Squid legs! Looks so good! She's now making more tempura! Okay, so what do you like to eat? Udon this. <laughs> I mean, other than udon. What kind of meat? You drink every day? <laughs> oh, these days I like the Spring Valley beer. Oh, oh, my, 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 my. So that's the one. <laughs> Finally, the shop is open for business. Do you sell all this in one day? <laughs> oh, so cute! Iwai's son's daughter's here! I guess she can't find her mom! Aw, uh -huh, she really likes Fumi-chan! It's so nice, they're like one big family here! Iwai san and the staff work diligently to serve their customers as soon as possible when the orders are placed. Oh wow, that's a huge bowl! Let's talk to that guy. Excuse me, can I bother you? Do you come here often? What are you eating? How much is that? That's so big. What did you get on the side? What do you love most about the shop? Oh, now his apprentice is making the noodles. By the way, are you married? Congrats! So, what do you like to do outside of work? That's the same as Iwai-san. 
Oh, he wise and took over. He's checking how he did. Why did he only cut halfway? <laughs> Since there aren't so many handmade udon shops nowadays, and the fact that Iwai-san is so warm-hearted and open to sharing his craft, he often gets approached by people wanting to become his apprentice. I'm not quite sure, but that line could even be longer than the line in front of his shop. Speaking of which, the shop is getting busy. Wow, she's non-stop frying! Kinda makes me want to take a quick tempura break right now. Anyway, their most popular tempura item at the shop is the chikawa, fish cake. She says chikawa is one of the harder ingredients to fry evenly, since the center hole often gets clogged. Oh, that's atsu atsu, hot soup with hot noodles. At his udon shop, you can choose from many different bowls, including hot or cold soup paired with hot or cold noodles. Apparently, the popularity changes with the season, but he recommends the hiya atsu, cold noodles with hot soup, which basically turns into a warm bowl. Oh, look, his family's going out. Where are you going? Oh, he's making a fresh udon delivery to one of the neighboring businesses. And he's serving it with the in-shop bowls. That's service. Hi, can I ask you a question? What are you eating? So why do you like to come here? Thank you. Finally! Done! After lunchtime and closing the shop, they all eat makanai together, which is a meal provided by the shop to the workers. Of course, it's udon and tempura, and it looks like a healthy portion. <laughs> Alright, so that's behind the counter at a local udon shop here in Japan. If you guys like this video or you want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.